As soon as you've imported your clips and you're ready to start working on your project, it's really important to make sure that you're building your narrative correctly and efficiently. Now, Premiere is very good at handling most file formats, so unless you're running a slower machine, you shouldn't run into too many issues. You can also reduce the quality of your playback to help your computer out a little using this drop-down box. Other than that, it's really down to the organisation ahead of your edit. One way to get this started is to colour code your clips and organise them into their subfolders and bins as discussed in my previous videos. To delve a little deeper into your clips, you can use programs like Kino to batch rename clips, or you can do this manually before importing. This will put their keywords into their title and will help you identify their clips by shot type, subject, location and more. This is particularly helpful if you're using the list display for your bins. And again, using the list display for your bins will help your computer run that little bit faster. If you are using the thumbnail display, then make sure your thumbnail is showing the best image for that clip. If it isn't, scroll through the clip and hit the I key, which marks an in point for that clip, and your thumbnail will update to this point. You can also retime your clips shot in a different frame rate here, if you know you'll want to use them at a specific speed in your edit. And these clips would also benefit from being in a separate bin. As well as changing the clip's speed before you move it onto your timeline, you can also adjust the clip's volume. I hope you found these few tips useful before getting stuck into your edit. For more tips on Premiere, make sure you check out the rest of the series with Wet Photo Video.